We make a wish, use them for celebrations, romance, spiritual purposes, to light up your dinner table, home decor, or aromatherapy. What am I talking about? Candles. Candles have cast a light on man's progress for centuries. They can be traced back as far as biblical times. For many years, they were the main source of light for people's homes. There is very little known about the history of candles today. Electricity has replaced the candle and as an important source of light, but the candle is still important today for its role in decoration on festive occasions. In this speech, I will simply inform you of the important history of candles because they are important souls far beyond what we know. The Egyptians were using wicked candles in 3000 BC, but the ancient Romans are generally credited with developing the wicked candle. Historians have found evidence that many other early civilizations developed wicked candles using waxes made from available plants and insects. Early Chinese candles are said to have been molded in paper tubes using rolled rice paper for the wick and wax from an indigenous insect that was combined with seeds. In Japan, candles were made of wax extracted from tree nuts, while in India, candle wax was made by the boiling the fruit of the cinnamon tree. It is also known that candles played an important role in early religious ceremonies. Hanukkah, the Jewish festival of lights, which centers on the light of candles, dates back to 165 BC. There are several biblical references to candles, and the Imperial Constantine is reported to have called for the use of candles during an Easter service in the 4th century. We'll talk about candles in the colonial times. Colonial women offered America's first contribution to candle making when they discovered that boiling the grayish green berries of, of bayberry bushes produced a sweet smelling wax that burned clean. However, extract, extracting the wax from the bayberries was extremely tedious. As a result, the popularity of bayberry candles soon diminished. The growth of the whaling industry in the late 18th century brought the first major change in candle making since the Middle Ages. Paraffin wax was introduced in the 1880s. In the 19th century, paraffin wax was introduced in the 1800s, 1850s. After chemists learned how to efficiently separate the naturally occurring waxy substance from petroleum and refine it, odorless and bluish white in color, paraffin was a boon to candle making because it burned cleanly. Consistently, it was more economical to produce than any other candle fuel. Its only disadvantage was a low melting pot. This was soon overcome by adding the hardest steric acid, which had become widely available. With the introduction of the light bulb in 1879, candle making began to decline. French chemist Michael Eugene Chevreul discovered how to extract steric acid from animal fatty acids named stearin candles. The 20th century candles enjoyed renewed popularity during the first half of the 20th century. When the growth of the U.S. oil and meatpacking industry brought an increase in the byproducts that had become the basic ingredients of candles, paraffin and steric acid, the popularity of candles remained steady until the mid-1980s. When interest in the candles has, as decorative items, mood setters and gifts began to increase notably. Candles were suddenly available in a broad array of sizes, shapes, and colors and consumer interest in scented candles began to escalate. Candles today. Candles have come a long way since their initial use. Although no longer man's major source of light, they continue to grow in popularity and use. Today's candles symbolize celebration, mark romance, soothe the senses, define ceremony, and accent home decor, casting a warm and lo lovely glow for all to enjoy. There are different types of candles today. And I brought some examples here to show you um, some of the candles that exist today. Okay, pillar candles. These are pillar candles and they are sold, they are solid and self-standing. Their shapes are typically round but also come in square, rectangular, 
and other designs. Some may have more than one wick. Heat resistant candles bases on stands must be used. Bought of candles are normally two and a half high and usually square or cylindrical in shape. They are burned safely in small heat resistant glass containers to control the liquefied wax as the candle burns. Tapered or dinner candles, and these are also uh, called, uh, they are unusually three and a quarter to one inch in diameter, ranging from six inches to 18 inches tall. Tapers need to be securely set in an appropriately designed candle holder, which will keep them in an upright position for proper and safe burning. As you can see, it can't stand alone. Container filled candles are non flammable. Heat resistant containers which are filled with the wax and the wick. Containers such as heat resistant glass jars and ceramic pottery are commonly used. Okay. Next is tea candles. Tea light candles are usually about one and a, one and a half in diameter and around three and a quarter height inside a, a cylindrical metal container. This is the container here. These small fill candles are used in food warmers or as candles in a tea light holder. Gel candles. Here's a gel candle. Are produced from gel mineral oils or gel synthetic hydrocarbons. They are transparent, rubbery, and are usually poured into various shaped containers. Gels can also be made rigid enough to retain and support their own shape. Specialty candles, I found this little angel, may be found in, in any three-dimensional shape imaginable that can be molded or sculpted by hand and are mostly for decorative uh, purposes. Luminara candles, or uh, citronella, are usually uh, for outdoors. They are placed in a container which is normally filled with sand, but um, you light these and it'll re repel the bugs you're outside or you have an outside event. And the most popular candle today is the flameless candle, which you see here. These are no flame, very safe. They run by batteries. And as you can see, they light up. And also they've added a, a, an added bonus to it. They've also put in MP3 clips, as you can see. Okay. Candles have been used for light and to eliminate man celebration for more than 5,000 years. Yet little is known about their origin. They create elegant, subtle lighting and beautifully decorate your home with texture and color. Their fragrances can be tailored to fit any mood or environment. Candles create an instant mood in any room of the home. Designers around the world choose to add candles for access in all rooms of the, ho of the house. Today, today, types of candles manufactured in the U.S. include tapers, straight side dinner candles, columns, pillars, bowls, wax filled containers, novelties, and floating candles. Many of these come in different sizes and fragrances and all come in range of colors. Candles can range in retail price from approximately 50 cents for a lot of candles to around $75 for a large column candle. Although a specialty candle could be as much as $200, candles enhance and touch the mood of people and are also an energy saver. Robert Alden says, if you're not lighting any candles, don't complain about the dark. Thank you. Okay.